Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you in this quick little video how to make these super duper cute little scrubbies for dishes or bathroom or um, if you want to, these are made out of like scrubby yarn. If you wanted to make them out of cotton, you, they would work well to wash your body with in a bathtub, uh, face uh, they work good for your face as long as they're made out of cotton. You don't want to use this for that um, They still work good for dishes if they were made out of cotton, but they're just really quick and easy They don't take no time at all super cute for a gift super cute just for anything really Scrub my anything you want with them They're so neat. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Well the size of them is they're probably about they're not very big Maybe about three inches three and a half inches. They're tiny tiny Perfect hand size, perfect scrubbing size. I just can't quit scrubbing with them. They're so cute. And they don't take any time at all. You'll be able to whip up a whole bunch of these in all different colors. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using Yarn Bee. This from, comes from Hobby Lobby. Scrubology Scrub It. Um, I'm not a big fan of like regular scrubby yarn, but I think this one's really cool. Um, let's see, it's, it's a bulky number five. 100% nylon. What it is, is it's like uh, more of a like spongy material, I guess. To me, I think it dries f faster and stuff. Now, if you don't have this yarn, that's fine. Um, and you want to you, you make like a wash rag out of it. Um, I would recommend using like 100% cotton or no less than like 80% cotton. And maybe it, it, like a four weight, maybe doubling it up to make, make it equal like a bulky um in case you can't get this but the colors i'm using is lemon there's 79 yards in here so one of each is plenty fire red and some white and then i'm going to be using a size k which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook all right let's start with the center of our flower now I'm going to go ahead and start with a slip knot on my hook. Now if you prefer to use the magic circle, that's fine. I'm not really the greatest at it. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with a chain of four. And then I'm going to slip stitch into my first stitch to form a ring. Like that. And now I'm going to chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working through the center of my ring and I'm going to work 12 double crochets through the center of that ring. So I'm going to yarn over and go through the ring and draw up a loop and do my double crochet. Oops. And I want to do that a total of 12 times. So that was one. There's two. And there's three and you want to continue until you get a total of 12 double crochets all right once you get your 12 double crochets you want to go ahead and round one by slip stitching into your first double crochet and you want to go ahead and tie that yarn off and because I'm going to switch colors now go ahead and pull your tail through tie it off like that now later on we can sew up that center circle there with this tail so now I'm going to bring in my flower color which I'm going to be using red okay now you can start your yarn in any stitch so go through both loops in any stitch and draw the loop and we're going to go ahead and chain one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work into the same stitch here I'm going to work one half double crochet and then I'm going to work three double crochets into the same stitch so there's one two and there's three and then I'm going to go back and work one half double crochet into the same stitch like that so in that stitch we did a chain one a half double three doubles and a half double. Now I'm going to go to the very next stitch right here and slip stitch. Just like that. And that's how we're going to make our petals. 
So we're going to go and slip stitch to the next stitch and we're going to make a petal again. So we will chain one and into that same stitch we will do a half double, three regular doubles. So there's one and two and there's three and then we're going to work a half double into the same stitch like that so it was chain one three doubles or chain one one half double three regular doubles one half doubles now we slip stitch into the next stitch like that there's our second petal now we're going to work again by slip stitching into the next stitch and this is where we're going to put our next petal so we will chain one and all into the same stitch we work a half double crochet three double crochets there's one two three and a half double crochet like that so now we have petal number three and we're gonna have a total of six petals when we get back around so we will slip stitch into the very next stitch now sometimes it it hides so make sure you pull your petal over so you can see which one you need to slip stitch it to and then we slip stitch again into the next stitch and that's where we'll make our next petal so we're just going to keep repeating this pattern all the way around until we get back to the beginning all right i've got my six petals made i've come to the end i just did my half double crochet in my last petal and i have one stitch left i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into that stitch and now i'm going to end by slip stitching into my chain one of my very first petal and that will be it go ahead and clip off your yarn like that and then you want to hide any remaining tails oh that's so cute that's gonna make such a good little scrubby oh let me get my uh yarn needle and we will hide these tails let's see what we got here i hid some of them while i was crocheting with them so you just want to take your yarn needle to close up the center circle of this one i just used the tail and I just go around like this and pull it tight as I'm hiding my tail. And it should start to close up that center. Pull it tight. It's working, it's working. Look at that. Like it never even happened. It's like there was never even a hole there. I think it's cute. Go ahead and finish hiding the rest of your tails. Make a whole bunch of these. Take like 10 minutes a piece. 15 minutes at the most probably. Get these all whole stack of them made. All different colors. Like I said, if you want to use cotton, um, double up some cotton. If you used, you know, uh, cotton, um, that would, you know, work well still as a scrubby um you could wash with it then um like in the bathtub or whatever you could use it for a i wouldn't wash with this of course because it's i mean your body because it's scratchy but if you use cotton you could use it in the bathtub to wash your body or whatever you want to do with it this would be cute to give as gifts what am i stuck on my goodness what did i do oh I was <laughs> stuck so now I'm just hiding my tail of the red so just go back and forth get all your tails hidden and then I will meet back up with you here in just a second 
This yarn probably seems like it's hard to work with, but it's it's not. It's not hard to work with at all. All right, here they are. Cute little bitty scrubbies. Like I said, these, my kids will thoroughly enjoy these. Scrubbing our pots and pans. I'm a monster. I don't have a dishwasher. Well, my kids are my dishwashers. Anyways, so these are, I really like them. I think they're super cute, and I think the kids will get some good use out of them. Tub scrubbing, toilet scrubbing, dish scrubbing. Of course, separate sponges. I wouldn't use the one out of the toilet for the dishes. You know what I mean. But yeah, these could make a great little gift for someone or just use them for yourself. They turn out really cute. I like them. I really like this yarn. Even if you made them in cotton, I think they'd be really cool too. So um, if you enjoyed this quick, easy little video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my tutorials or Oh, all kinds of yarn talk on my channel. All kinds of anything yarn and crochet related, I'm in on. So, thanks everybody for watching. Um, if you look over there to the right hand side of the screen, I'm going to put a playlist of all the videos on my channel if you want to check them out. Um, if you got time. And until next time, have a good day.